like at a crossroad in my life. And I kind of liken it to like um, somebody that's transitioning, say, from relaxed to natural. And they've transitioned for about, say, five or six months. And it's either I like milling natural and I'm going to go forward or I absolutely hate it and I'm going to go back to relaxed. Um, that's how I kind of feel right now in my life. Like, um, for me, I haven't colored my hair in about five or six months. So now I'm at a point in my life where I kind of got used to looking at the gray hair. And, um, actually my hair's not gray, it's white. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, um, deciding that if I want to go back to coloring it or not. And so basically, you know, I need to take a look at like, um, you know, why did I color it? Did I like not like aging or did I not like getting older or did I not like my hair? It was, you know, the reason why. And then I thought about it for a while and I'm like, I guess for me, at the beginning why I colored my hair because I wasn't willing to accept, you know, my age. I'm like, well, I don't think I look my age, you know, why did I have my hair tell on me? So, but, um, for me, like, I'm approaching another milestone, you know, um, and, you know, I'm, I've kind of accepted, you know, like, you know, we age, there's nothing you can hide about it, so, you know, what? Well, age is just a number. If you don't feel the number, then so be it, you know, don't have to be the number. But anyway, so, um, yeah, so, like, I've, I've gotten used to the, the white hair, um, doesn't bother me anymore, like, before, as soon as I see, like, um, a gray hair, I'd be like, oh, damn, now I gotta go back and get a color again, blah, blah, blah. So, um, even when I pull my hair back, like, you really notice it, and that's what used to really bother me, because I do like to wear my hair pulled back, and then when I wear, like, oh, man, you know, I can see the gray hair, but I got used to it now, and I'm like, do I want to color? If I do color, am I gonna be coloring the white because I don't like it? But I came to a decision, and I'm like, if I color my hair, it's because I want to change, you know, like, uh, okay, I've accepted who I am and how old I am. So, um, yeah, I got used to it and I could probably color again, get used to it again once it fades, you know. That's kind of where I am right now. Um, so, if I, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Um, if I do, I'm going to do it around my birthday, which is in April. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you what my gray looks like. You can see it's, it's all throughout my hair. You can really see it, you know, like when I pull my hair back. You can really see it in the front there. And you can see it in the front here. But when it's down like this, you know, the length of my hair isn't white yet. It's just the roots, so, you know, maybe I'm okay with that. How would I feel if the whole thing was down here gray? I don't know. I guess when I get to my next milestone, I'll deal with that. But for now, I don't have to, right? Um, yeah, but um, I don't want to make this video really long because it's pretty much not much about nothing. It's just about my decision on if I want to color my hair or not, you know, and, and accepting... Um, getting older. You know, I have accepted getting older. I mean, there are definitely changes that I've noticed in myself, um, both mentally and physically. Um, my outlook on life is a bit different than when I was, you know, say 30 or 40. Uh, but, um, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to color my hair or not. I don't know. What do you guys think? If it were you and you got used to seeing your hair gray or white, um, would you go back and color it? And if you were to go back and color, what would be your reasons? I mean, I think for me, my reasons, I said them earlier, it's just I'd be wanting to change, you know. Um, so the place I usually go to get my hair colored is um, Hair Rules in New York City. I like that place because um, there's a female there, her name is Niall. And she allows me to just get my hair colored without any of their other services. So for me, and if I want to get other services, it's not like you got to go through the whole thing. I can get it carte blanche, but I really choose not to because I don't really like Hair Rules products. 
you know, the first time I went and I got my hair cut, not cut, my hair um, colored there, they, um, they did like a, I know, wash and go on me. And then they sat me under this dryer, which I don't like sitting in the dryers. That was like strikeout number one, don't sit me under the dryer. And then um, number two, when they did my hair, my hair was like... <laughs> and um, I just knew that that, that wasn't going to last. And I didn't, I didn't like that look, it just was not me. So um, I, mean, I paid for the service and I got... So like when I got home, I just washed it out and just did my normal routine. I think I style my hair better than anybody else because I kind of know my head. And I know the ins and outs of what looks good and where to part it and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for me. I'm just a little bit confused. Not confused, but I wanted to come in and talk about um, coloring your hair and um, my decision on what I'm going to do. So I... Uh, Hopefully I'll catch in another video when I'm not so out of it. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, what are your responses? Should I color it? Or if it were you, would you color it? So um, let me know, and I'll catch you later.